So the last few days, I have been getting a decent amount of new subscribers and I would just like to say, welcome aboard and hope you enjoyed my weird content. Hello everybody, it's your meme boy and today we're going to be discussing about a YouTuber that, in my opinion, is turning into something he's not. He commentates on videos such as most people in the commentary community, except he has a very short temper and he can quickly get angry at little things that most people shouldn't get mad over. I'm talking about... Skip it a button, that up! Review Tech USA a channel that talks about classic slash modern gaming news and technology. Often or not, he's very opinionated which isn't always a good thing. His huge history of hypocrisy at this point in his career is also making him look like an idiot. But here's the thing, and the people, as we're seeing, will do anything for attention. There's videos out there that have tons of views. Well, Rich, before you criticize people for doing stupid shit for attention, how about you stop uploading live streams while taking advantage of viewers' attention by your greedy Patreon donations? What's up, guys? Just wanted to make a quick video uh, thanking everybody. Uh, there's been a ton of support for Review Tech USA's Patreon, and it's because of you guys now that the Patreon has grown to the point that I am now getting enough to support this office. If you needed money to pay for an office to do your work, why didn't you at least get a part-time job to support yourself? Also, if you're getting enough to pay for your office through the donations, why aren't you investing in it as much as possible by doing your content instead of doing live streams still? Instead of doing your quote unquote job. I'm sorry, but I don't understand why he should be asking for Patreon donations when he already has a nice desk, nice new monitor setup, lots of views and subscribers with ad revenue, and also an active following still that's still decent. Sure, you can argue about the ad apocalypse and censorship rules enforced by YouTube, but this dude's channel was successful back then as well. It's not that I'm not making money on YouTube, but due to YouTube's new policies, due to how sensitive advertisers have been, Sure, buddy. Is that why smaller channels today like Bionic Pig, The Gamers Drunk, Skyward Wing, etc. are all making money with no struggles and without any problems? Sure, they get donations as well on their live streams, but the difference is they only do it every once in a while and has a goal for these donations to help their community and themselves while entertaining by playing a game of their choice. While on the other hand, Richard, you continue to excessively make these streams with no content in them just to get money from your fan bases and there's no denying that. You are a greedy, lazy slob and I can fully understand why your YouTube channel is dying. Also, did I forget to mention the fact that this dude really likes to lie to his fans with false promises? On February 16th, 2018, Rich posted about doing music production and streaming on his channel in the near future. It's already almost April and we still haven't heard any word about this particular subject. He also tweets on that same day that he will be streaming and gaining subs on Twitch, but yet again, there is no update on that either. Why can't you stop making these empty promises, Rich? Stop talking out of your ass and be honest with your fan base. They deserve a whole lot better treatment than this. I also find it super ironic that Rich called himself DSP Gaming as a joke when in fact he's not that far off from him. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, DSP Gaming here. Why am I toxic? <laughs> Here's my similarity list and you guys can tell me what you think. Does Phil and Rich lie to their fans? joke it's been a running joke since i started making videos in 2008 out that i have nothing to do with this facebook account do they both beg for money what i'm hoping to see happen is that people have enough faith in my show and want to see me cover those controversial topics again enough to give one dollar a month it's like i actually just recorded a video about kevin spacey i know that video make it cash and be able to pay my bills again and you don't have to hear me harp on this shit. i won't have to make these videos anymore do they bitch on twitter I hope you guys now see my point. Rich, if you're watching this, this was extremely harsh criticism for me and this is something you could potentially learn and grow from. Stop doing live streams all the time and please listen to your fans. They're getting fed up with your bullshit. If you don't want to listen to my points, then that is completely fine. Anyways, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was more of a serious rant than one of my regular face cam videos. Also, shout out to my subscribers for giving me advice to switch up the content with a gameplay video for you guys. If you like the content, please make sure to pimp slap that like button and I'll see you guys later. Timmy.